juttu. Oh, just did a sound. Welcome back. Sorry, let me just, uh... How's it hanging? Um... Yeah, it's... Plus. Okay. To this day, I can't remember the basic exponent rules. <laughs> anyway, let's see. I don't think... me uh i'm doing well i don't know if i'm doing good i'm not dead right so there's that um i also haven't left the campus in about four days so i do want to be done but i also have a problem set that do um <laughs> um yeah let's see so um Euler's equation um but, um, yeah, no, I have this problem set do at midnight, and then after that I can go home. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a busy week. It would have been nice if, um, so I, I, I was, you know, I kind of, uh, slept in the office if several majority of this week, um, because I needed to get up early to go to, like, the machine shop and do some machining and stuff, and... Uh, it would have been nice if the stuff that I machined actually worked well, um, but it turns out it's, like, functionally identical. I don't know what that says, really. I'll have to think about it, but it's functionally identical to, like, the previous setup that didn't require machining, so it's kind of like a, well, why the hell did I bother? <laughs> Let's see, so e to the i, x, sorry. Oh, there's a question, right? So e to the i, x equals cosine x, i, sine or plus i sine x, right? So then the real component is uh, cosine. So a, b, cosine uh, x, which is delta a minus delta b. Just get one half a, b, cosine delta a minus delta b. Uh, so then if I can argue that this, now that turns into sine. And sort of get part of it. Uh, 
So really what I want is a sign to pop up in here somewhere. And that, or I want a negative sign to pop up somewhere in here. Maybe I wrote down the equations wrong. Uh, let's try the first derivation again. Maybe we missed something. Uh, maybe we missed something. Maybe I should get a maybe I should get a laptop. Maybe I should get a laptop. Alright, so right hand side. Let's see. The right hand side we can get into this form, which is probably pretty easy to prove. Um Uh, sorry, what, what happened? Oh, uh, Mango, welcome back. Uh, Hawking radiation papers. Um, honestly, no, I haven't, but, um, let's see, Hawking radiation is, it, it has to do with, like, information, like, conservation and, like, a black hole or some shit, right? Or maybe not. Actually, wait, is that right? I mean, sorry, let me, let me actually Google it. Hawking radiation. Or actually, rather, the lack of conservation, right? Uh, oh, wait, mm, is this? That? You know, I think I might have been thinking of something else. This doesn't sound exactly what I was thinking of. Um... Uh, sorry, that I, I might have just worded it a little bit poorly, um, but I don't think I was thinking of the. I don't think I was thinking the right thing. Um, that's my bad. Uh, sorry, I'll look at that later. I have a problem set due tonight, so. Um, but um, yeah, I got more basic math that I need to. <laughs> I need to you know grind through, but um, yeah. Sorry, so so I haven't really. Um, looked into that to be quite honest. Question mark there, and so yeah, if we can get the left hand side to form one half AB cosine delta A minus delta B, then we'll be good. Let's try all of this math again. All right, so we want the time average of FG, which is to say, I think it's the DT integral of F and G, where F is a cosine k dot r minus omega t plus delta a and then 
GSP cosine Q dot R minus omega T plus delta B. Oh, is there like a cosine squared equals sine or something like that? I guess uh, trig uh, integrals. Maybe that's what I need. I don't see anything. Oh, Reiner, welcome back. Yeah, <laughs> I got a problem set due at midnight today, so we're going to try to get as much of it done. Um, yeah, I honestly want to go home and sleep, but um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's where we are. Um. rules for oh yo oh yeah so um yeah. i got the uh the flange uh -huh. in um i had to sand it i think i need to sand it down a little bit more okay but um yeah so right now it's behaving as if the you know when we first put the um what was it uh which was it the was it chihuahua i can't remember is that the one that you guys fiber coupled uh, recently, yes, yes, yeah, yes Okay, yes. yeah. So it's it's doing it's performing basically about the same as Chihuahua. Um, okay, okay. Well, that's except good, good. It's well, that's with there, yeah. Yeah. So so I feel like that shows one improvement with the new flange, which is you don't need to wrap indium around the. Mm. Uh, on, and yeah, yeah, you already get that similar performance. Yeah, yeah, except you still need to put indium on the back of the flange and the diode. So it's uh, kind of like you can so so what what I've been able right. to show so far is that there's a you can reduce the the you can get rid of the the what do you call it the parallel flange the wrapped flange around the diode yeah yeah because that's, that's kind of annoying to like yeah. have to do every time for sure yeah, yeah so but, but putting it on the base I think that's fair yeah right yeah so I think I think um. I'm gonna try to sand it down a little bit further. Okay. I obviously don't want to take too much material. No, yeah, sure, sure. Um, so and then I'm hoping Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we can also put um thermal paste between the diode and the flange on the where where it used to be indium. Oh yeah. To yeah, okay. like further close the gap. Yeah, yeah. But um uh just because it's so close now. Yeah. It's like you can't put indium there, but you could might as well put thermal paste since hmm. there's a gap. Um and that's well, yeah, that's the situation. Well, yeah, so. I, I, th I think yeah. I think I'll get there. Yeah, I mean, I think you correctly yeah. identified that like it was probably just not making like really nice contact. Yeah. So sending it down helped, and then 
Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, sure we'll see. Maybe a little bit more might, might do the trick. So. Yeah, I'm like, come on, we're not, you know. We're almost yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Although I did check the yeah. max performance. I don't know. Did you check the max performance on Chihuahua? Like, so 15K on the temperature and then like 700? Oh, no, I, I didn't okay. do that. No, I was just I was yeah. just doing the baseline and just seeing it sort of okay. how it changed. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did check that as well. But basically, it seems like it's half of what we were getting out of Voxer before. Or, oh, well, that's the one we gave before, yeah, yeah. Well, before uh, Holger did the final okay okay uh, yeah so um okay yeah i mean that's that's encouraging for sure uh yeah. well yeah we'll pick it up uh next week i guess yeah 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 sorry i gotta finish my problem yeah, set. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no no go for it yeah I'm... actually yeah, sorry but... do you know just real quick yeah, yeah sure um just I, i'm struggling with this it's always the like the the first questions all the yeah. math proofs but they're like it's the it's that time average stuff again yeah, is yeah. there is there a clean identity for are there like a cosine identity where it's like like I was thinking, I like define these two as like a, and then this is like, you know, some other oh, yeah, variable. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, is there yeah, a yeah. clean like cosine x plus y, and then times cosine x plus z yep, or yep. something? I I don't remember it. You'll have to Google the exact okay. form. But, but there's there a thing, be, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cosine a plus b. You can probably simplify it to like two times cosine a cosine b or something like but that but doesn't that require the, the the stuff inside the cosine to be the same because they're slightly off it's like if you uh, had to do a plus ooh. b and then a plus z or sorry oh, a plus yeah, b yeah. plus a plus oh i, I don't know yeah. about that but right yeah, just, just it's what helps for these is to just go through like a list of trigger yeah yeah <laughs> i've been trying to pull works. through it and it's yeah, like yeah. i can't find anything but it's, sorry i don't know them off the, the top of yeah no worries yeah, i just yeah. it's <laughs> just been scratching my head it's like this is some this is one point come yeah. on <laughs> it's no i mean that, that yeah sounds... But uh, anyway, I'm just going to keep okay, uh, yeah, yeah, grinding this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, uh, see you next week. Uh, yeah, cool. I'll, I'll see you on Monday. Yeah, yeah see, see you. See you then. Oh, you know what? I just realized I said someone's name, didn't I? Oops. <laughs> in, in my head, I was like, okay, as long as they don't say anyone's name, I can, you know, probably keep it on, the audio on. But um, yeah, no, I should have muted that. Oops. Okay, well, this stream's going to get killed. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, yeah, sorry. So I'm on campus. Um, I'm just kind of doing the problem set from the office. Um, uh, what do you call it? I, uh, yeah, it's just, it takes about half an hour to get home and then, you know, stuff. So I, I was just kind of like, the the time is kind of, it sucks to lose that time to, to study. So, or to, 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 to work on assignments. So I just, I actually brought my entire computer from home to the office, not the entire setup. I didn't want to, you know, suddenly put in like a freaking, you know, six monitor setup in the office. But, um, oh, Jesus, I'm welcome back. Um, but at least the computer, just so that I could stream from from campus. And, you know, if if um, if IT complains about my network usage, then they have my contact information. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> I think it's OK because I'm using, you know, with streaming, right? I might the amount I'm uploading, I, 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 you know, the stream resolution should be pretty shitty for you guys because I'm only streaming at like, I think, 1750 kilobyte kilobits per second. So the stream should be pretty. Oh, actually, no, the I have it set at 1500, actually. So it's even lower than I recall. But um, so that's like in terms of network usage, that's like less than someone streaming like, you know, 1080p video from like YouTube. Right. So I think so. I don't think IT will be all that annoyed, especially since I do it, you know, in the evening when there's less network usage. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I've got I've got this integral with cosine like essentially it's cosine A plus B times cosine a plus c and it's like i is there an identity for something like that i don't know there needs to be is kind of the thing i need to get this into something that looks like what are the rules for cosine let's see so let's see cosine identities is there a good identity that i can use uh Well, okay, let's let's try it again. Let's try it again. So yeah, right. So cosine alpha plus beta is cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta. Uh so if I have two cosine sums, then I should be able to make uh so so I'll get three terms. 
And I think one might cancel. Garlic, tomato con... I don't know how to actually pronounce that. Is it confit? I don't know. But, um... What's that again? What's that again? Mmm, okay. Yep, okay. I figured it was, like, French or something. Okay. Mm, I see. Okay. Uh, I mean, roasted roasted garlic, right? Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. That sounds good. Ah, uh, fuck! Now I'm hungry. <laughs> no, I gotta focus on studying. I gotta focus on studying. But now I'm a little hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that sounds fun that sounds fun i admittedly i my expenses for this month have been pretty pretty uh pretty bad um i spent a lot of money this month just because i've um i haven't really been home so i've been doing getting takeout from the office um god uh uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one is definitely worse than the others. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, the crypto thing. I know that the school will actually go after you pretty quickly for crypto. I know I was trying to get the the hash rate of. I was trying to sell one of my graphics cards, and I got asked. Um, this was back when I was in the dorms, but I was trying to sell one of my graphics cards and I got asked, like, what is the hash rate of it? Or can you verify the hash rate or something? Or could you check the hash? I can't remember what the guy said. But anyway, so I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. So, so I, um, so I, uh, so I, I ran like whatever application, it was a Windows application to, to check the hash rate. And th this is like a year ago, or I guess that's about two years ago now. Um, and then I, I, uh, I finished it and I thought I hit stop, but I guess it just automatically started mining. So then literally when I got home from like, uh, well, I guess we were not really got home, but rather after classes, um, cause you know, it was all remote, but like, um, yeah, after classes and stuff and I just kind of like settled down, I checked my email and I, I got a notice from, from IT that was like, yeah, we noticed some strange network usage. It looks like you're mining. Um, please recall that if you're profiting off of school resources, we're going to like sue you. <laughs> so <laughs> that's basically the point. So I was like, oh, shit. And I had to kind of explain the situation to them. And they were understanding. They were understanding. But um, it was kind of a, yeah, they'll catch Bitcoin mining or they'll catch mining in some form. Yeah. Yeah, they were chill about it. They were just like, yeah, you know, we just want to make sure you're not getting like hacked or some shit. Um, because actually the um the semester we we um or I, I enrolled, right? Um there was a there was like a what do you call it? like a a user like information or like a, a personal information leak. Um someone I think I think there was so was some uh some third party that the school that the university used for um like processing personal information got got like hacked or something um which uh you know sucks for some people but at least in my case not only did i not you know has my information not popped up on the dark web dark web you know but they gave us um a free uh, subscription to uh experian like for for like identity or personal information monitoring. So basically I just got free, you know, information monitoring and I and my information didn't actually even though my information seems to not have actually leaked. Um I mean some stuff some stuff will pop up like old passwords and stuff, but in general it's been fine. Uh let's see sign alpha sign beta. But um yeah, I'll, let's see cosine alpha min or cosine alpha times cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta. Yeah, okay, cool. So then this, well, let me just do it in parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I'm going to have to kill this stream afterwards because I realized I mentioned a, a, a person's name and I don't think that person will mind, but it just makes it like trivially easy to like dox me with, with that knowledge. So we're going to have to kill this stream afterwards. Um, and I just have to trust that no one actually Googles that name in the meantime.
since I'm baking. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I was I was taking the more optimistic, uh, uh, you know, view of you must be finished with all your work so you can afford to bake. <laughs> but then again, now that you mention it, um, my lab partner last semester did did also bake as a way to procrastinate. So maybe that's a pattern. <laughs> Let's see, cosine alpha, alpha we're going to define as uh, k dot r minus omega t, and then cosine beta, which is going to define as cosine of delta a, and that quantity minus uh, sine of alpha, which is k dot r minus omega t, times sine of beta, which is uh, delta a. That's quantity times, and then B, and the same thing except with delta B. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But how are classes? I mean, within within what's what you're capable of responding to while you're baking, of course. But um, dying. Well, ain't that a relatable mood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it gets so busy. It's just yeah, yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> you know, I I I talk to some some of the grad students there, and then I tell them, you know, I'm retaking this class, and they're like, oh, that's good. You know, you've probably seen it before, so it's probably a lot. It's probably easier. And I'm like, I wish. <laughs> Five classes. Oof. How many units is that? Jeez. Yeah, no, that's not fun. I've always taken bare minimum units. That's probably also why I've been in community college for so long. But anyway, um, yeah, too hard, too hard. It's like the it's like they say, right? Eat, sleep, study. Choose three or choo choose two of the three. <laughs> you can either eat and sleep and not study, <laughs> study and uh, study and sleep but not eat, or you know, like. <laughs> Or is it that? No, no, it's, it's, it's study, it's, it's like, what it, maybe it's, well, I can't remember what the actual triangle is. It's like partying, studying, and something else, but, but I don't know. For me, I feel like you gotta, there, there's something else in there that, uh, I don't know. Uh, right, so what was I doing? So, okay, so, uh, let's do each, this is so many terms. Uh, we'll factor out A, B, we'll say this is, Yeah. Four is the minimum, really. Social is it social sleep and study? Okay, maybe that's what it. That sounds more right. But for me, it's definitely eat, sleep, and study because I don't have this. You know, <laughs> getting to university kind of fundamentally required getting rid of a social my social life. So <laughs> for me, it's a little bit more of a. Anyway, uh, let's see. So cosine k r cosine delta a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's like grad students going to like parties at the end of the week and it's like, yeah, that's that's great. I'm going to be here finishing problem sets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I mentioned, but my mom uh when my last time mom came to visit, you know, she was like, well, you know, I was talking about how busy it is and she was like, "Oh, well, you I mean, you have time to play video games, right?" And I was like, "No, I don't. Are you like 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 are, are you stupid?" No, the last time I logged into Overwatch was like literally two years ago. Like, or, or maybe not live. No, that's not true. I played Warzone once um, during the summer. Monaristi remembers that, I'm sure. But uh, I played Warzone once for about four to five hours. I think the lot, and that was, I think about four months ago, three months, three months ago, three, three months ago, I think. So yeah, I've I've played video games recently, but I don't think when she says played video games, she means played one video game for like four hours over the course, you know, per every three months, right? Like, <laughs> so I'm like, no, are are you are you like are you stupid? Like, mom, hello? I'm like, I don't think you're that old. Um, Let's see. Negative. Is this a negative? This is a negative. Yeah. 
I... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't want to, you know, you know, I know that there's a whole stereotype about boomers not understanding anything about modern, you know, the modern, you know, academic, you know, environment or, or, you know, social environment, work or like, you know, hiring environment, you know, so on and so forth. I know that there's stereotypes, but then, and I try not to, you know, fall for those stereotypes and just assume that my parents don't know anything but then when they say something that's stupid and it's like do you do not realize how how much time i or how much time you know studying takes these days it's like hello have you been out of the out of academia that long that you're that out of touch like you know it makes me realize yeah those stereotypes exist for a reason right um yeah, like if, if, you know, if, 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 you know, if they're gonna get pissed off about those stereotypes, then they should do something about it. Uh, oh, well, that was my better on streaming. Both since I not stand since she's, since I'm sleeping instead of studying <laughs> out of the bedroom. I mean, you know, by all means, how about you stream while you're out of, you know, why don't you just, you know, you have a laptop, right? Just stream and be like, here, mom, do you, you want to count the actual amount of hours I'm studying? Like, <laughs> yeah. Actually, my parent or my mom actually, I guess, or not really my mom, but my brother showed my mom, you know, my, my YouTube channel and she was, you know, so I told her, yeah, okay, whatever, fine. Don't watch it then. Um, I'm not sure how much I trust her on that, but thankfully I can see the number of viewers so I can tell, I can, you know, I can figure out if she's, uh, follows, she actually, uh, does what I said, but we'll see, we'll see. If she does, and she actually, if she actually doesn't watch the stream, that'll be uh, a major sign of improvement, like behavioral improvement. But we'll see how, we'll see how realistic that is. So two cosine k dot r minus omega t, and cosine delta a, cosine delta b. Yeah. No, too tired. That. I mean, I mean, I will, I kind of want to go, or not kind of, I just legit want to go to sleep as well. So, um, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Let's see. Sine K dot R minus Omega T cosine K dot R minus Omega T. And then what? Sine, no, it's cosine Delta A sine Delta B. I, I do not see how this is supposed to clean up. Streaming while studying is tiring? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Delta A sine delta B. Yeah, one of these days, one of these days I'll actually get done with all my work and be able to do something fun like you know hmm? no, it's just someone walking around okay never mind um one of these days of course i feel like everyone everyone here or all my regulars or even semi-regulars know how much of a, how a bullshit statement that is <laughs> anyway uh, let's see. So, co product of cosines, is that... Okay, so I think I can do... Well, does that help at all? So, cosine delta A, cosine delta B can be turned into cosine delta A plus delta B plus cosine delta A minus delta B over 2. And that... That would introduce a factor of one half that would get rid of these awkward twos, but yeah, let's try that. Okay, I feel like I'm just going in circles, but I feel like sometimes algebra is just that. Um, let's see, so cosine alpha cosine beta equals... Um, cosine alpha cosine beta is equal to alpha, or cosine alpha plus beta... Uh, plus cosine alpha minus beta, entire quantity over 2, so let's put a 1 half up front. I actually roast some garlic now. Hey, wait, were you not already?
or I guess it's not roasting. That's baking. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you're trying to make me hungry, you're pretty doing a pretty good job at it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, sign alpha. Let's see. Sign beta is the other one I want. Sign beta. Yeah. Well, the one good thing about, you know, just working slash studying out of the office is that um, I, uh, what do you call it, that it, it's my, the, the stores or the restaurants around the, the campus or the university are open far later than the restaurants near, near my apartment. So it's a lot easier to get late night snacks, you know, if I'm here. Uh, so there's that. Let's see. Negative cosine alpha plus beta. Okay, so these would cancel eventually if we could get it to work out nicely. Not near... Really? Okay, well, let me put it this way. I, I live near a street that has basically just... It's the kind of the the the, the happening street, so to speak, um, near near my uh, apartment. There There's one, like, literally less than... It's, like, literally, like... 20 meters away from my apartment like literally out the door right so um and that's not and that's that's not even uh well no that's like straight line distance i guess but so i guess the the path distance is a little bit more than 20 20 meters but it's really close everything closes by i want to say 10 o'clock even and this is the craziest thing even the bar there's a bar there's like a taco and like beer place i think because i think it's called like tacos and beer or something but um or is it tacos and beer or is it like, i think it's got tacos and like beer in the name i can't really remember what um but even the bar closes by 10 o'clock i'm like that's crazy um maybe not maybe not crazy but like that's that's um well, anyway, you see where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> so, so compared to that, the fact that like at least there's a Taco Bell here that stays open until like midnight, and the, there's a hot dog place that's open until two a.m. Uh, I want to say the there's a burrito place that's also open until midnight, and then uh, there's a burger place. There's two burger places: one that stays open until midnight, and the other that stays open until I think one a.m. or two a.m. or something like that. And then there was one pizza place that's open until I think 2 a.m. So compared to that, you know, compared to the, compared to closing at 10 o'clock, I you know the, these places stay open until 2 a.m. So I'm totally taking that. Yeah. Finished quickly and eat. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> food, food. Yes. Although if I'm being really honest, I want to cook more. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home and cook, but again, if I go home, I'm not going to get any of this done realistically. So, so we're just going to have to keep keep pushing on. Two cosine k dot r minus omega t. Uh, yeah, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not starving, of course. Um, I did have lunch, but um, I wanted something more to eat, honestly. <laughs> uh, so I think. Cosine k dot r minus omega t. Is that... And then you take time for dinner. It is about 6 o'clock, actually. We had a late lunch, though. It's like at 1 o'clock. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not that broke. I get paid by... I get paid, you know... I did work today. I did work until 5. So I, I, did, I, I do get income. I do get work study. Uh, I'm not that poor. I'm just stingy. <laughs> Let's see. So delta A plus delta B. Um, also, I don't really want to go right now because it's so busy. If I wait until like... Well, actually, wait, no. Today's a Friday. So I, even if I waited an extra hour or two, it's not going to be any less busy. Uh... Yeah. But at the very least, I don't have to deal with the sun, right? So I'm going to wait a little bit. Let's see. Cosine times. There's a sine alpha cosine beta identity. Okay, so we'll use that as well. And then hopefully this spits out terms that we can cancel out or something like that. Yeah. Let's see. So sine alpha 
cosine beta is one half quantity cosine um, alpha plus beta plus cosine alpha minus beta. Hmm? Something's messed up here. No. I don't know. Like, if I'm being really honest, I feel like a baked potato. Oh, these are oh, they're sine. It's not cosine. It's sine. It's sine. It's sine. Okay. Okay. Sine alpha plus beta. Sine alpha minus beta. Uh, let's see. Sine alpha cosine beta equals one half sine alpha plus beta sine alpha minus beta, and then cosine cosine is cosine cosine, and then sine sine is cosine cosine, but except for the minus sign. Should make that too. Baked potatoes are so convenient, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like I just haven't made a baked potato recently, so kind of feeling that right now. Baked potato, put like a salad on the side. Uh, TikTok. Uh, what's up? I mean, you can probably guess I haven't seen the actual TikTok, but, um, or, yeah. Let's see, so two times, and then cosine k dot r minus omega t, and then we want to turn the cosine delta a cosine delta b into a one half cosine parentheses delta a plus delta b plus quantity cosine delta a minus delta b so much algebra um yeah yeah maybe i should do cooking tiktoks i don't know <laughs> what demand is there for that Sine of k dot r minus t. Okay, this, uh, let me make sure desktop audio is muted. Okay. Huh? There it goes. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous garlic. This looks good. Wait, is this what you're making? Or is this the one that you made earlier? Or we're making, or I don't know. No? Okay. Interesting. Confidently flip it. <laughs> I like the presentation. I like the presentation. I can see why people like TikTok if you know it's if it's mostly content like this. I've only seen like the like the the cringy like dance videos, but if it's if it's content like this, I can see why it's popular. I, I gotta copy this at some point. Yeah. Yeah, this would be good, right? Because it looks like you could probably like freeze it and and make a few portions. Your man <laughs> I mean I think it's okay to be scared of those. I I always worry about cutting like the edge of my finger off or something on those. Better safe than sorry. Let's see. So Oh, this needs to... Yeah, okay, so maybe this also uses this. Okay, sorry, let me see. Um, so... Right. So, uh, let's see, 2 cosine whatever. And then now we have a sine cosine here. So we should be able to turn it into something else. So that's negative 1 times... That, hmm? All this, all this algebra, and it's only one point. Problem sets, am I right? Uh, anyway, um, I 
Yeah, you do all this algebra and you prove one identity, right? It's like, man, what's, what is my time really worth? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is probably fine. We'll keep the... Well, well we won't di distribute any further. But then for this one, we have a sign... It, so we have a... Oh, wait, wait, no, these aren't different. So we can use a, a different identity. We can just use, like, what is it? Like, sign x cosine x and then see what that turns into uh i don't want a derivative i just want some kind of identity i can use it's one half two mm, there what what do i gain by turning that into a two k dot r minus omega t hmm i guess that's in a derivative or sorry it's in an integral so that yeah, that's physics for you, that is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to leave that. It's already in like a sine something, cosine some, the same thing form. So we'll leave that alone. We'll just put it in some little parentheses. Sine k dot r minus omega t. Cosine k dot r minus omega t. Um... And then now we want to use the uh, cosine sine or sine cosine identity, I guess. Move that over here. All right. Oops. Paste. Uh, right. So sine alpha cosine beta is then one half uh, sine alpha, which is delta b plus beta, which is delta A, and then plus sine delta B minus delta A. Okay. And I can probably pull that out and switch the order and shit later. Okay. Um, okay. And last one is positive 2 times uh, sine k dot r minus omega t, one half, and then sine sine, okay. So then it's one half uh, cosine delta a minus delta b minus cosine delta a plus delta b. They're both cosines, yeah. Okay. And then these are all in a dt integral. So I guess the ideal thing is that I get a cosine alpha minus beta that just factors out, and then I can somehow argue that the entire integral is equal to 1 or something like or maybe an, an, an integer or something. Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen. So just break all the terms out. Um, so we have a, b... Some integral, some time integral. Um, yeah, so it's cosine k dot r minus omega t, and then cosine delta a plus delta b, that quantity plus cosine k dot r minus omega t, cosine delta a minus delta b, um, and then minus, um, it's a lot of terms. I guess there is a shared cosine, no, there's, no, there's a, who's a, Let's leave it alone. So it's uh, negative one half sine k dot r minus omega t cosine k dot r minus omega t sine delta 
A plus delta B. And then uh, our sum, so minus one half sine k dot r minus one t cosine k dot r minus one t sine delta a is plus and then we can take the sine out here all right so it was delta it was sine delta b minus delta a so we'll make that negative sine delta a minus delta b because that's eventually the form that we want and then uh one halves cancel so then you have something mm, no then you have sine k dot r minus omega t cosine delta a minus delta b minus sine k dot r minus omega t cosine delta a plus delta b Okay, then I guess if we can factor by I guess what I really want is this term, this one half and then like the sine delta a minus delta well actually that's an annoying integral. Uh yeah, actually wait, so what do I what do we try to get? Ooh. You want one half AB cosine delta A minus delta B. So since delta A, delta B aren't functions of T, I guess where do we get cosine delta A, delta B, or delta A minus delta B? I guess we get one here. Go in here. Ooh. Mm. Play some music or something. I should focus on what the other terms have. The delta A plus delta B. Where do those pop up? So it sounds like I need to group these together then. Uh, Monter City, welcome back. How's it going? Oh, wait, wait, these are signs. So they don't necessarily group with anything. Just video games. <laughs> wait, I thought you'd work today, or maybe that's tomorrow.
And I guess speaking of video games, is everyone excited for Overwatch 2 coming out on October 4th? No? I'm inclined to agree, considering it took them like 2-3 years to release it, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. I do want to give it a shot once it, um... Update 2, exactly right, is... <laughs> I mean, considering the content drought that we had for like two, three years, it's like, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, better late than never, I suppose, but. Let's see, these are plus, so cosine k dot r minus omega t plus sine k dot r. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where to go from here. I mean, I guess this accomplishes the goal of getting the stuff out of the integral, but... Hmm. 
if that was the goal. This is kind of the question. But anyway, okay, so I got the negatives, got the, or got the positives, got the negatives, then I want the negative one half sine delta b, and then sine k dot r minus t. Are these all products? Yes, they are. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm starting to fall asleep. <laughs> it's been a long day. I did have coffee in the morning, for the record. Oh, shit. I mean, you should apologize. I'm just studying, so. Yeah, you're miss you're, you're the one missing out on my high-octane studying right here, man. Check out these integrals, man. <laughs> Check out these trig identities. Man, trig identities will chase, will, will like, you know, like, like, like you think you finish calc and you finish your trig identity shit and you're like, okay, I'm good, I'm good. I did calc too. I don't have to deal with trig identity does anymore. Damn, man. No, those things, th those things chase, chase after you for like years to come. It's like, you thought, you did, you thought you didn't need the integral of like sine to the n cosine to the n plus one or something. Nah, you need that forever. Like, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, oh, that's uh, I don't know. And if you got a link, by all means, <laughs> put it on Instagram too. You know, I don't know if you already do that. Oh, okay. I <laughs> know. Okay, fine. Yeah, I haven't posted anything to Instagram recently though. Uh, let's see the It's not done all right sounds good. Oh uh, man, I don't know what to do with this integral though, honestly. So I guess what I can see is um, if you're just supposed to do the integral over or time average, then I, I guess the time average 
of a trig function or of sine or cosine is like one half, right? So for everywhere where it shows up as a difference, I should just be able to do one half. And then for the sine, cos I wonder. Yeah, let's try to BS it like that. That should get rid of some terms. <laughs> so, yeah, just have it like, you know, like, just get like a chartered flight from like Canada. <laughs> yeah. Or two. I don't know. It's probably about easier to go there than to get it delivered. <laughs> Grub, uh, Grubhub Boeing collab. <laughs> Actually, this is something that we heard about, um, slightly soft. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, but, um, our, apparently our group needed a laser from, from somewhere. So, and one of the, one of the, the grad students in our group knows how to fly a Cessna. So, um, <clears throat> so he said that or they were talking about how at one point in order to get this laser, because they wanted to do this experiment like right away, they, they there was this whole like shuffle of like laser equipment within the lab and then this guy you know basically flew for like six hours <laughs> just to get a, a laser like flown to our lab <laughs> within the day yeah so compared to that i think you know yeah of course i i you know when i was helping out at caltech we did something kind of similar where we had um we had a a motor controller, like a servo or a separate motor controller, uh, Ubered from Irvine all the way to um, LA. <laughs> that was, I felt really bad for the driver, but we, but we tipped him very well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girl, <laughs> now I'm just going to get hungry. <laughs> uh yeah, fuck, I'm getting hungry, though. Yeah. I don't want to go out, though, because it's still kind of hot outside, and so too many people, too. I think if I wait until, like, 7.30 or so, then it'll be pretty, you know, it won't be too busy. Ooh. Now let's try to get a little more done. I'm also very tempted to snack on something, but I'm like, I don't want to ruin my appetite, so... Uber Eats, that is... I wonder if I can... Yeah, actually, now that's a good point. Can I get Uber Eats to this uh, to this office? Because they, 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 they wouldn't need building access. Like, the building's open until, like, 9 o'clock, I want to say, so... Yeah, I wonder... Sorry, let's just show. <laughs> Integral of, uh, I guess it's cosine a minus x. Is that a known integral? Yeah, how about there? Here, integral of cosine ax plus b. That seems fine. And you can define it. Let's see, what is that? Just tell me what the integral is. I need to print like an integral table at some point. At some point. Um, trig integrals. 
need something then. I, well, first of all, no, because it's too damn expensive. But also, I don't know if they can actually deliver to this room. I'm, I'm going to go walk. Um, it serves, going walk, going to, going, going out to walk and, like, grab the food also serves us a little bit of a break. So, it's fine. Uh, more importantly, I need a trig integral table. Ooh. No, otherwise, you know, I don't really... I'll pay. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy food in a sec. I have to think about it. Um, I think, let's see. It would be good today. I had, um, what did I have yesterday? I guess I had, a uh, tofu stew yesterday. I had tofu stew, but I, I think the, uh, cashier misheard me and, and said I, you know, and thought I said I didn't want it spicy. So, so you can imagine how, how, how disappointing it is to get tofu stew, but it's not, like, red <laughs> like like in, i went to this uh there's this korean barbecue place near campus and they also have like tofu stew so so i ordered that but um i i guess i accidentally ordered it not spicy or that's how they heard there that's what they thought i said so it was it was so disappointing and i don't know i don't it'll it'll i'll have to see how cold it is today if it's if it's cold today maybe i'll outside maybe i'll go get some tofu stew again but um oh come on give me the integrals where is that like there was this one website that just had like all the trig integrals in like a nice uh in a nice table where did that where did that website go i should have just printed it printed that out at some point um no i want the integral of a trig function i don't want the easy ones i want Okay, let's see. Cosine AX plus B. Just give me the integral, please. No, I don't want a YouTube video. I want a table. Yeah, and about like get Ubering stuff um, around here, food is already so expensive. It's like, ugh. Um, no, I want the integral. Is this not a standard integral? Do you have to like separate it into like. Jeez. I don't look at the YouTube video. Integral cosine AX plus B. One over a sine a x plus b is what it ends up being. Okay. So let's see if I tried that. Well, then there's still a sine and a cosine. So I guess I have to hope that cancels with something. Well, I feel like the math is getting slowly and slowly more complicated, but let's try it. Oh, actually, let me go to the bathroom first. Can't forget my keys as well. Let me see the.
Let's do a little bit more and then we'll go get food.
Mm, oh, oh, Reiner. Uh, cannonball. Interesting. Okay, yeah, Reiner. Uh, thanks for coming by. Take care. Stay safe. Have an evening. And I'll see you later. Well, or hopefully, yeah. <laughs> stay safe. Let's well, gotta uh hit your nose right now. What's up?
I'm done? Nice, nice. This is the, uh, the the tomato confit, or I think, right? Man, I don't know how this derivation is supposed to actually work. Slight kick to how does is that is that I mean I don't know what you put in it. I don't know if that's intentional or not. <laughs> I guess it doesn't sound super intentional, but uh you know, pleasant surprises, right? Hopefully pleasant surprises. <laughs> hmm. Just olive oil. <laughs> That's some fancy olive oil you got there, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess as long as it doesn't, you know, as long as no one gets sick from it, right? I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, I don't know how this derivation works. Oh, wait, actually, I just had a brain fart moment. Um, well, actually, wait. Does that matter, though? No, that doesn't necessarily help. Although, I guess all of these T's should have been evaluated... Um, for um, whatever the period is. But that's still a constant, so. <sighs> Garlic butter. <laughs> uh, that, that would be good. Do you have time, though, honestly? Um, yeah, so... Alright, I'm pretty tired. Uh, and also my iPad's kind of low on power. There's a charger. procrastinating <laughs> yeah well i guess i'm not gonna be an excuse for you to procrastinate for the next probably hour and a half or so i'm gonna go get dinner now um it's not 7 30 yet but i think it's reasonably late enough in the day that uh, procrastination nation <laughs> yeah well sorry i guess i'm not gonna be able to you know yeah yeah um i guess normally i could stream dinner but also um probably just gonna watch anime while I eat or something so uh I don't know I don't know I'll probably just I'll just cut the stream you know let's give let's give the bandwidth back to the the other people studying this late in the evening <laughs> is there any anime to watch today actually there might not actually be anything in which case maybe I'll just watch some hall live or something yeah can't wait for next season though Twins making. <laughs> Just, well, I mean, you're making the, uh, 
you you made you made something for them anyway though so you know equivalent exchange yeah let's see today's friday right i don't think there's any fr anything on friday that i watch is there yeah i guess not did i watch everything from yesterday uh, oh, I ha I don't watch um Kumicho Misume no Sewa Gakari. Okay, so I can watch that. Um but anyway, uh so yeah, uh Chizuru san and Monarchy, thanks for uh thanks for popping by. I'll be back probably later in the day at some point. I'm I gotta be or else I'm only gonna get less than one point on my homework. Um I'd want at least two. Um I mean I want more. I want more than half, but you know. One step at a time. Uh, but anyway, yeah, yeah. So um, I guess Chizuru-san, or Chizuru-san, good, uh, good job with the, uh, the comfy. Uh, Monarchy, I guess, is playing video games, so we'll let him do that. And uh, I guess everyone else that came by, thanks for popping by. And I'll catch you guys in a bit, or not, or whatever. Yeah, where is uh, my wallet? There's my wallet. Uh, yeah, yeah, see you guys later. Let's go to... Let's go to...